Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say good evening to everyone to both the East West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today here on uh, Thursday. Hope you guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up. Start tomorrow on Friday. Here I am with another video at this time at night, 9.27 uh, 9 p.m. And for this video today, I'm going, tonight, I'm actually, I'm going to talk about is Days of Our Lives forced to make casting cuts? Which characters are in danger of being cut? So, let's get right into it. The link will be in the description down below. This is from uh, soapshows.com, uh, posted by uh, Ramon Van Meer for the 22nd of January 2015. And it says, Rumors circulate that the MC soap opera, Days of Our Lives, will soon take a cast and cut. The Television Actors Union has imposed new wage regulations for actors, and in order to adhere, adhere to them, cast and cuts will need to be made. The new wage regulations will allow actors to be paid more. The rumor suggests that instead of paying all the actors the new higher wage, Days of Our Lives would make casting cuts that will enable them to obey the new wage regulations and not alter their budget. The big mystery is, which characters are in danger of being cut? Clyde Weston was not a fan favorite of the MC Soap since he arrived. Social media rumors fly around that when Jordan leaves Salem in March, she will take Clyde with her in a body bag. Fans can only hope that rumors are true. Another character that might be in danger of being cut is Kate Roberts. If Jordan disposes of Clyde's character, then Kate will have no longer have will no longer have a significant role on the show. Previously, she was a very important figure in Salem, but now her character revolves around Clyde. With Clyde rumored to be disappearing, Kate might be at risk of the same fate. Faithful Marlena Evan fans might not have might not have anything to worry about. Marlena has been an ample character on the MC Soap, and the chances of that changing are slim to none. Nevertheless, someone has to go, and fans will be waiting in suspense until the decision is made. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, who could be cut from this? Um, you know, it's me. I. You know, looking at today's cast for Days of Our Lives, I mean, you you, you still have the uh, core characters who have, uh, you know, made the show what it was. I mean, you still got John Black. You got Marlena Evans. You got Holt Williams Brady. You have Maggie uh, Horn Kariakis. Victor Kariakis. Um, yeah, you have uh, Adrian, Adrian Kariakis. Lucas Horton. Um, who else? Ah, uh, yeah, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Horn as well. Um, what else? Is that it? Oh, yeah, you also have uh, Kate, uh, Kate Roberts. But you know, there really, to me, there are just some people on the uh, the cast who are just not. I mean, who really don't need to really be there anymore. And that's it's based upon, you know, storytelling. It's based upon um, how they are written. It's based upon, um, based upon, you know, the, the direction of that character. So, um, you know, I'm getting the cast list in here. Um, so, I mean, I mean, I can think of a couple of, you know, characters that don't need to be on the show. And, you know, some of the, some of the characters are leaving in a couple of months. So, uh, Jordan, Jordan Ridgeway played by, uh, I think her name is... Christine uh, Stashush, I think that's, I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the last name, but uh, she was on All My Children as Amanda Dillon Martin. So, uh, you know, uh, she is a leaving days of our lives. Um, all right. Getting the, cop, the cast member list here. Okay. Okay, so here are the pure people that I don't think they need to be on the show anymore. Um... Uh, Cassie DePavo, who plays Eve Donovan, because I feel that her character, as of right now, really has, um, you know, really has no place on the show. I mean, she does play a legacy character in Eve Donovan, who is the daughter of Shane Donovan, played by Charles uh, Ashasi, and, uh, you know, um... You know, with, with with what's going on with her right now, I just feel that her character does not need to be on the show. Because there are rumors saying that, you know, a diva is leaving Salem. So that could be Eve Donovan. And to be quite honest, I don't care about her. 
I mean, I, I mean, to me, I don't care about Eve Donovan that much as I did when uh, the character first made her way to the canvas, or, say, or shall I say, back to the canvas. Back, excuse me, back to the canvas. Another one. Uh, let's see. Mm. Okay, then. Okay, then you have uh, James Reed who plays Clyde Weston. Now, I mean, since Clyde was since when Clyde first came on the show, I kind of thought that you know maybe he uh, his role was kind of being wasted that he should do something else to spice up the character. But like now in the feud with him and Victor, it's starting to get really good, and I, I and I like that. Um, I just hope that you know. That he that I mean, a part of me hopes he doesn't leave the show because, um, you know, it would be kind of a waste, you know, from the you know from the coming to the show and have this big you know feud with Victor Kariakis and then he gets possibly killed off or whatever. Uh, but I mean, I wouldn't mind if he did leave as well because you know, I mean, what else is there for him to do once Jordan leaves Salem? I mean, he still has his son, you know, um, son or stepson, I think, uh, Ben. Yeah, his name was Ben, and um, you know, possibly there's something you can do there with, with two of them. And uh, who else? Okay, uh, this one I think all you fans of Days of Our Lives will uh, understand when I come with this. Who does not need to be on the show? And I think that is Sean Christian, who plays Doctor Daniel Jonas. Um, yes, he has been with the show since two thousand eight. And to be honest, his character is getting really overrated and stale. I mean, he has been, you know, the guy who has been involved in almost every major storyline in Days of Our Lives history since he first came onto the show. And I just think that, you know, there comes a time where, you know, you have to you have to move on. And it's nothing against the actor of Sean Christian. He's done a, he's done a good job. But, you know, we need to see you know, someone else take that role of, you know, maybe, you know, being a, you know, being a hero of the, you know, people of Salem or something like that. But, uh, I would probably, I, I would get, I would get rid of Dr. Daniel Jones and just have him and Parker leave Salem and go to Chicago and, you know, stay with Chloe, you know, you know, and, um, reconnect with her. Okay. And it's another character. Um, I think that's about it. I think everyone else on the show is fine, and I think with the ones that I said that needed to go, I think after if if I was in charge of Days of Our Lives, I would get rid of those that I just told you guys about, and bring back the characters who have made Days of Our Lives. Bo Brady is one of them. Steve Johnson is one of them. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, Jack Devereaux. He's part. He's one of them as well. And bring back those kind of characters that have you know made the show and put the show on the map. Um, you know, and sign them to whatever deals they want and work in the budget. Because, you know, you know, Days of Our Lives, like I, like I said before, uh, when I first started this video, you know, you know, it's rumored that Days of Our Lives is forced to make a cut. So, um, and to me, you know, and I just hope that, you know, um, you know, uh, Deidre Hall is not going to be let go because I, I like Marlena Evans, even though her character sometimes can be a little judgmental. It's just on writing and stuff. I, I mean, her character, need, her character needs to be on the show. She has ties to different people, different characters on the show, such as, you know, John Black, Bray Black, Eric Brady, you know, her, her sons, her daughters, you know, everyone else. Uh, and Kate, Rob Kate Roberts is another one of them as well. Um, <clears throat> you know, she, um, she has ties as well to the show. Uh, she is the mother of, you know... Um, she she's a mother who is related to her children, Lucas Horton, Billy Reed, Austin Reed, Philip Kariakis. She was once married to Victor Kariakis. You know she has she has tied she has ties to Victor. Uh, you know, but um, you know, whoever is going to be caught, I you know, hopefully, I mean, good or bad, it'll, it 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 could probably improve the show maybe, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to wait and see what happens this moving forward. But uh, tell me in the comments below, guys, what you think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in a million YouTube about Days of Our Lives forced to make casting cut to make casting cuts characters and which characters are in danger? Could possibly be in danger. And so tell me such such comments down below. Uh, don't forget don't forget to like this video. Don't forget, don't forget to always subscribe my channel, guys. And until next time, this is Nathan saying peace.
Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video coming up tomorrow on Friday. And until next time, guys, uh, take care. Have a good night. And uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.